Hello, welcome back to Ben Shichi Life Learning. In this episode, I want to take a look at this uh, tool by Passive Star, uh, which he just released recently. He posted on Twitter. Uh, his work got leaked on GitHub. He's jo- joking, of course. You can, you can basically go to GitHub and download the, this uh, quick menu. This is an add-on for Blender, but inside the add-on, you will find a lot of tools related to geometry nodes. It's using geometry nodes as a tool, and it's a yeah, it's a product productivity add-on. Uh, you can actually modify and customize this add-on yourself and adding your own tool. So this is something to to keep eyes on. We need Blender 4.1 for everything for all the tools to work properly. So under preferences, just uh, install the quick menu as usual. Just you know install from the zip. By default, the hotkey is actually D uh, or Shift D. I tried it. You don't actually need to restart, but anyway, it's already working here for me. So underneath the geometry nodes, to uh, if you switch to tool, you will see after you install, I believe you you will actually get the menu. So let me let me try. This is Blender 4.1. Yeah. I tried it before D we can have okay multiple objects for example and we can try the simple one like where is it randomize okay randomize right randomize tool randomize seed randomize locations we already have this uh, as a tool somewhere in blender randomize rotations scale Randomize scale, you know, this kind of tool, pretty handy. Let's take a look at the cube one, actually. the If we go to edit mode and then tap D, we got this, uh, we got a few interesting ones, such as crack, hole, damage, um, Right. Yeah, okay, for example, this one, it seems to be creating like a, some kind of Voronoi. Let's read, uh, increase the detail or decrease it. Resolution is 10. I want to see the simple one, okay. This one does damage on an object. There's a few one. That that will work if you're okay. This one randomized. I don't know why it's kind of gray. Seems seems to work anyhow. So let's go here again. Go to edit mode. D modify now. See, all of this seems to work. This is actually, I believe, works on edit mode using geometry nodes. So I haven't tried this myself, but anyhow, let's, let's join this object. Go to edit mode again, D, and you can see a lot of a lot of tool here. So you can randomize the point. Okay, noise, right? Noise. Okay, uh, you can randomize the noise. Uh, randomize an object based on the no using the noise on the points. We can make it per island, or just apply to all. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, so it's there. The tool is there, and then oh now okay. See now all the the notes actually start starting to appear as you work on it. Each one of them. It's something you can deconstruct and you can learn from this actually sometimes not so easy but this is a good study if you want to dig inside the node setup so let's uh, let's delete all try again so let's take a look a uh, few a few more general separate join 
origin to geometry origin to bottom so this one also this is actually quite handy if you have Suzanne Suzanne for example the the origin is there if we use this origin to the bottom now it's the origin is at the bottom so that's that's handy and with recent blender you can you can G and then B anyway I think G or I keep forgetting the shortcut for the snapping oh well anyway let's go back to D general origin to geometry rotate camera 90 degrees you can also rotate an object 90 degree I believe okay select select random maybe inside here noise to select it's a lot of really weird obscure tools like that say so we have this I believe we also have subdivide yeah say so we have subdivide here and then we can convert this to mesh which is gonna apply this apply the modifier and go to edit mode you can noise deselect so I, I quite like this one selecting and this deselecting based on noise and you can adjust the threshold it's, it's really handy it's very obscure you don't need this every day but you kind of need it sometimes so you select all D noise to select okay and maybe you can then separate normally normally I will actually use like F3 F3 and then separate mesh separate for example select by selections now we have that separated right but I think the, the D menu is kind of making like a, all this shortcut usually it's a it's a quick menu which is Q and you can assign it from whatever whatever on, on the menu here the D is like a customized version uh, yeah it's interesting interesting concept subdivide okay let's subdivide multiple time make it simple right click convert to mesh which is also in here now generate ins instantiated I have no idea some of how some of this works instantiate instantiate cubes on surface okay it creates random cube on the surface in edit mode that's interesting that's that's basically like a gribble if you if you know learn 3ds you will understand you will hurt this terminology gribble so that's adding gribbles let's do this again go to edit mode D generate instantiate sphere on surface so there's also another gribble I'll keep the segment small and simple ring radius can we randomize the radius or you can modify this yourself okay that's that seems useful save this this is quick menu first look so what else what else do we have here generate solidify edge spin circular array that's the handy one there's 
there is a node that does this in the past. Okay. It's definitely handy. Edit mode, generate spin. What is spin? Okay, spin will create a spin. With the angle. Okay. And after you spin, maybe select all and you can <clears throat> you can spin again or make a circular array. Starting to become a sphere. Yeah. Weird tools like that you can you can definitely try yourself. I just gonna go through a few bounding box circles. Circles on faces. The okay, circles on faces. That's also pretty interesting. If you have icosphere, circle on faces. If I tap four, okay, it does that. <laughs> circle. Yeah, it's a uh, interesting. This is actually in interesting. Like a circle of life or, or whatever they call it but that's an interesting geometry for sure let's go back to this mode it's a little bit faster on mac what else edit mode go to edit mode using tab and then d generate panel cables whoa panels Panels with offset, extrude. Okay, doesn't that doesn't seem to generate anything? How about extrude? Oh, okay, extrude both ways. Like like solidify panel convex hole cables. Cables doesn't work on that. Hmm. I'm curious about cable. Maybe I need to select some points. Yeah, maybe cables doesn't quite work. Or I just use it wrong. Curious about that. Cables, conflict holes. Uh, some kind of information could be helpful, I guess that could improve it. Edges to rope. Edges to rope. It's turning every edges into some kind of rope. It's really cool. Okay. That's really cool. Uh, let's try cylinder. Edit mode. Generate instance. Yeah, we try this. Okay, coming soon. Okay. Panel cables. Mirror array. Array with a camera. The camera angle affecting the array. Wow, that's that's actually pretty pretty cool. And maybe we can after this we can randomize, right? Oh, that one is instancing the object. Okay. Interesting. It it only works one time. Hmm. 
very strange. Script mode. Cube, go to edit mode. D, generate mirror, edges to rope. Mm. Convert to mesh. Foxel remesh, yes. Uh, damage chunk crack hole. Okay, damage hole. That's, this one is interesting. Create this hole like a cheese hole with threshold control. So far, it doesn't crash, so which is a good thing. It seems really, really stable, even though this is alpha. Nice. So you, uh, yeah, for all the nodes tool, it's all here, by the way, yes. Uh, hole. So key empty hole, check the nodes. Okay, it's basically selection or everything. Okay, that's cool. Noise, volume cube, volume to mesh. Do the mesh boolean difference. Oh, yeah. Seems simple enough, but it's handy. See, that's the scale can be randomized, I guess. Scale and threshold. Mm. Okay. Edit mode, check, damage, edge, wear, chunk, and cracks. Crack. Oh, we try the crack, right? It's like giving like a foranoi kind of look. The nice thing is uh, it seems to be pretty fast. Modify damage, chunks, and cracks, chunks. Geometry nodes, yeah, this is for game design, just adding some random stuff. Modify, what else? Clear, sharp, noise, add cursor. Noise, add cursor. I like that because we are using cursor. Like in my previous video, I talked about cursor. So we can add. Noise at a cursor. Can't see anything. Maybe I need to subdivide this. Right click, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. <coughs> so now let's try damage or noise at the cursor. Noise at the cursor, that's actually super handy. Offset, distance, minimum, maximum. Scale, increase the scale, reduce. Okay, let's increase it. Detail, offset. I can move there. Noise at cursor. Once again, we have we have control of the noise. There's a few tool out there that's already doing similar thing. Ring frame flatten. Okay, we're not gonna check that. Delete and split. Merge, merge by distance. Decimate. Some of the. Yeah, that's decimate geometry based on the cursor. Also could be handy. UV texturing. Not gonna check this. Cut union inset cut panel cut. And I'll cut always skewing the object. What's missing with uh, this tool is probably a search, some kind of search, quick search. So we can edit the menu using the JSON, so like uh, what's the add on says. 
you can modify this yourself so that's configurable customizable reload menu okay that's handy field selected or camera yeah <clears throat> that's actually super handy we always actually need to do that it's a lot of really really useful shortcut overall export glb import export glb export gltf yeah that's cool mode to add a cube add cylinder yeah this is also handy look we are in this mode normally we have to go there select the tool with this tool we can go d go to the tool add a cube add a cube d add a cylinder holding holding options pull it okay now we go we go d again tools go to itosphere yeah we, we can do this this is see holding holding options it's placing the egg there instead of like that that's super handy Annotate, measure, annotate, okay, annotate. This annotate is not grease pencil, it's just staying there. Uh, it's actually, it's residing somewhere here, you can delete it. So, just in case you don't know. Tool, sphere, icosphere, cone, okay, cone. All this, super handy, just, you know this this one is like a lego block but you can replace this with your own mesh and then just add it so you can pull it really quickly snapping yeah this snapping tool only box before yeah say cube g and b b disappear again snapping Bounding box before. Yeah, I don't know how this snapping actually works. Animations. This one could be handy. Add constraint. Parent to new empty. Now we have empty driving these objects. What if we have multiple objects? The animation parent to new empty or it it resets the objects. Now we can join this I guess and parent to new empty. But we need to change we need to change the default. Origin, okay. Origin, origin to bottom. Okay, this one doesn't work. Only works for mesh. So let's say we have these objects. We want to change the pivot based on this placement of the cursor. General, general origin to cursor. Now origin move from there. This is uh, something, okay, normally, normally the way I do this, that's the cursor there, F3, origin to cursor, set origin, set origin to 3D cursor. That's usually how I do it, but now since we have this tool, Maybe we can have we can we can just do that origin to cursor, and we can move that. The blender is pretty strange. Like, look at this. You can animate like that, right? 
we can animate the rotations and then we can we can move cursor there origin to cursor okay Obvi obviously obviously that will not work maybe a better way is to animate and then add a constraint or parent to new empty the empty is there kind of wish that the new empty is on the on the new pivot but you can animate that way like use use empty and then animate the empty and then move the pivot and then parent it to a new pivot yeah anyhow that's a totally different topic so this is quick menu from passive star very handy add-on definitely you can modify this to your own needs it has a lot of uh, geometry nodes tools that i really need to spend some time to if i really want to dig into this i will see you know in the future we're gonna have a uh, blender ai somehow okay we have all these nodes explain to me what's what's this node doing for example you know maybe if i take a screenshot of that nowadays i really believe the ai can really help with the it makes us more productive so if we upload this image look this is geometry nodes not set up try to explain what happened what's happening if i'm guessing okay this is the key, the, key, the key empty holes once again get selection separate geometry and join geometry okay it's separating the geometry it's creating bounding balls volume cube volume to mesh with the noise texture modifying the selections and do a boolean blah 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 the image you send geometry is create a row of cube the setup starter it's trying it's hallucinating a little bit but it's trying but maybe in the future, BART AI will be smarter. I think ChatGPT might be smarter on this, but I don't know, I haven't tested. But yeah, in the future, we should be able to do that. I'm pretty sure. So all these tools being shared by Passive Star. Thanks again, Passive Star, to share this add-on and cool notes set up for you to study. Most of them are probably basic or like just quick tools but you can modify this and make this more robust and more complex tool for your need so anyhow yeah keep watching this his twitter it's actually quite interesting like this rope one <laughs> this is a joke it's a good joke thanks again passive star for sharing the notes add on uh hopefully this video is useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye